Hello everyone, today we're going to be continuing on with our season previews. Today we'll be talking about the Buffalo Sabres. Now before we start, please make sure to subscribe if you are new, uh, if you are interested in hockey. I'm hoping to do this one time, uh, one day is a full-time job. So I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe if you want to see more hockey content from me. So let's, having said that, talk about the Buffalo Sabres who are coming off another season that they didn't have playoff hockey, which dates back to the 2011-12 season where the streak all started. It's tough and it's another year of hoping to see the franchise turn things around and going into this campaign maybe they have reason for optimism as this team should have some realistic goals this season. Is there optimism though? I'm kind of going to address that in this video as I think there is as they had a hot finish to the year with a record of 16-9-3 and three in their last 28 games of the regular season and got an impressive 35 of 56 possible points in that stretch which would put them to be on pace for 103 point season had they played the whole 2021-22 season that way. Prior to the 28 game run though, Buffalo was 16-30 and 8 in their first 54 games, which was interesting because in that time they would have been a team hitting about the 58 point mark. So kind of a total opposite 58 points compared to 103. So as we talk about that, let's talk about this year for a Sabres fan. They could possibly see some good things like Victor Olofsson. He really was a guy that went and went on a tear towards the end of the year. He had 13 goals and 12 assists for 25 points in their final 28 games. That run by Olofsson might have been why the Swede was able to get a two-year, $9.5 million extension with the team. Who's hoping that this could be more than a two-ish month stretch for him that he had towards the end of the year. If this could be the whole season, then they're going to be in good shape. Aside from Olofsson, there's definitely more to be excited about here as you have Owen Power being a big reason for Sabres fans to be optimistic. The 2021 first overall pick had a small sample size, just eight games in fact, but made a positive impact for his team in that time and is expected to be a big part of this franchise for their turnaround and will probably really solidify their top four this season. That shouldn't be really anything as a surprise as we saw in that time. Power played 20 minutes a night for the Sabres and managed to have the third best goal for percentage on the team in his first taste of NHL action as well as having the fifth best expected goals for percentage. One of the good things about Power 2 to look forward to is that he really doesn't take low percentage shots from the blue line and hope they go in. Think back to Shea Weber, a guy that really would just take some mean slap shots from the blue line. While Weber was able to do that because he had such a wicked slap shot, Power is a guy that will really pinch in and take shots down low, which is something that we've seen before. I did a video, kind of like a scouting thing, over him in his going into his first year and said he was a guy that really liked to push in, kind of like Quinn Hughes, Kale McCarr. And this is good for him because he will be able to possibly lead Buffalo's defenseman in goals this year. That might be a premature hot take. I tweeted that. Nobody really seemed to think it was that crazy of a take. But Power looks like he could possibly be their best goal-scoring blue liner. And I just think the ability for him to score goals is because he's taking those shots down low. In a lot of different ways, he is just very accurate. He had 17 shots attempted this year, 10 were on goal, six were blocked, and only one missed the net, meaning his shots were missing or were hitting or going onto the net at a very high rate, which is what you really like to see and is possibly the thing that could make him a big name defenseman even more than he already is, as he could score possibly 15 to 20 goals. I think 15 goals this year wouldn't come as a shock to me, and power is in a category that could be kind of a very good, I don't know if I'd say top tier blue liner just yet, but after this year, I think people are really going to be impressed with him. Even more possible good news is that the Sabres drafted Matthew Savoy with the ninth overall pick in this year's draft. And he is a player that was viewed as a higher pick that Buffalo kind of got as a steal. He slipped a little bit, I think, because of his size. He is 5'9 and 179 pounds. So he is basically my height and my weight. But in all actuality, he could be smaller and we just don't know it yet, and maybe that's why the slip happened, but I'm not worried. I think this could be a steal for them. He is smaller than you would like, but I think Savoy is going to be a very good player because he is a skilled player, a very good skater, a guy that can make a big offensive impact for his team going forward. Will he play this year? I don't know. I mean, I'm not in Buffalo's you know, management and their, their staff, so I couldn't say, 
but I think he's just another reason Buffalo fans have to be excited for this upcoming year as he is possibly a guy that could play middle six minutes to start off. I have no idea where he would go, but we will have to see. Switching up gears, we have to talk about what the realistic expectations for the team will be this year, and that's where it gets a little tricky. The Sabres finished surprisingly in the fifth in fifth place in the Atlantic Division ahead of teams like the Detroit Red Wings and Ottawa Senators, who a lot of people expected to be ahead of them. Should Buffalo's goals uh should Buffalo's goal scoring continue to climb, uh, they should possibly be higher in the ladder, but I do think that they will probably not be in the playoff hunt. In all actuality, I have to say, Buffalo is really a team that will probably finish lower in the division this year, just because a lot of teams got better. The gap between them and the top four teams above uh, last year still exists, while teams like Detroit, Ottawa, and even Montreal, I guess you could say, got better. Montreal, kind of a fringe thing there, but Detroit and Ottawa definitely got better. I would say that while Buffalo isn't going to be absolutely awful, I would expect them to finish 7th or 8th in the Atlantic this year, and this is why I think they should focus on the future again. It's not fun to say, and I know it sounds repetitive, but looking at this roster, I'd expect them to throw out. I don't see them doing a whole lot within the division and outside of the division. Uh, their situation in net is far from convincing, and their forward core, while looking better uh, better than last year, still is something that wouldn't scare me if I was a coach or GM of a playoff caliber team. Thompson had 38 goals, but I feel like he's probably bound for a regression. Instead, they should focus on other guys, uh, Thompson as well. But the young guys like Power, Thompson, Krebs, Cousins, etc. to develop them and grow a core that could theoretically get to the playoffs in the coming years and get better through the draft. I love how the Sabres finished the year though. I have to say that with the Atlantic was top heavy last year. Like I said, is more daunting for them in the coming years because, or just this year, especially because of the additions of Detroit and Ottawa. So for this year's preview, I'd say don't expect a crazy amount of wins from Buffalo. I think we already kind of knew that as they should be focused on the future and not the now, but hopefully they can be entertaining. And I think there's plenty of reason to watch them and they have plenty of guys that I think you should watch. But what do you think the Sabres' realistic expectation for this season should be? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are new. Everybody, please make sure to stay safe. Have a great night. And you go of all key, all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.